There's no more music. Oh, where's the music? Dang it! Here it is. Ruin my buzz. Here we go. That's it. This is what they do in the kitchen. Doesn't everybody dance in the kitchen? Technical difficulties! Hey Ashley, how you doing? Here, hold it. You guys are Okay, you gotta hold it. What do you want? I'll hold this? Yeah, just hold it. Wow. Hurts! You gotta hold that button. Here, this. Now this. Go away. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Yeah. That, boy, you didn't have these very tight. Okay, how does that look? Good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> how's it look? <laughs> What's up, Stacy? What's up, Tara? Sorry, we had some technical difficulties. Less one entertainer with some bubbles? Okay, hold on, I gotta... Oh, see, this is why this didn't work well, but I don't want this is one tripod thing. Alright. Everything is set because the light just fell over, the camera just fell over. It's a big hot mess over here. Music. All right. Hi, everybody. Who's out there? Tara, Crystal, Ashley, Stacy, Judy. Who else? How are you? Oh, no. <coughs> really? <coughs> so, Mark's got to get our dog all riled up by uh, blowing bubbles. Oh, here, let me show you. Watch. Get the bubbles, Gus. Right here. You guys, this is hilarious. Watch Gus get the bubbles. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, get him. Get him. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'm sure you guys didn't join in to watch Gus annihilate bubbles, but anyway. How are you guys? I just like walked in the door, so it's kind of a hot rush mess around here. But we had an idea. We thought we would do some cooking because I've had numerous emails, like probably 10 um, emails and also just uh, you guys asking me uh, two major things. One is um, how in the world you make that cucumber salad to make it taste really good. So we're going to do the cucumber salad and then I'm going to show you how I make my matcha green tea because I've had a lot of you ask me about that tea and I'm going to share with you some of the benefits, how to make it, where to get it, what kind, and blah, 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 because you guys have been asking me, all right? So that's on the agenda and then um, if, we have more, if we have time, I will also... Um, I'll do a green smoothie with protein. If, if we have time, I'll do a green smoothie. I'm not sure we're going to have time, but we'll do a green smoothie and give you some of my favorite product tips on what I use a lot in products that, uh, or in recipes that I find really taste good and are super, super easy and blah, blah. So, hi. You guys ready to go? I'm good. So, what we're going to do is uh, make the recipe, the cucumber, English cucumber salad, the one that I'm like, Oh, addicted to. I eat it almost every day because I love it. It's so good and it's so healthy for you and it's basically a free food. I mean, the only thing that really has calories in it, not that calories matter, but the fat, avocado, and olive oil, 
But those are all good. It's omega-9, and the avocado is it's a great fat for you, so it's not the kind of fat that's going to put fat on you. So don't stress about fat. Uh, comp teen, that's a different story, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to have, I'm going to grab the camera. Hi, Mary. Hi, Shannon. And we're going to start making this salad. And, and the reason I wanted to tape it, because when I try to make it, for some reason, it doesn't turn out very good. But when he makes it, I don't know what he does. I'm going to watch him tonight because when he makes it, it's the bomb. But I want one thing. I want to tell you guys one thing. Super important because he made it one night. One time he made it and I tasted it and it was like wonderful, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, I could eat this all day. It's so good. So loved it. And then he made it another time because I, I was gone and I had him go run and get ingredients at the store. And I said, can you go get, you know, I made a list. Okay, you know men and lists, right? I made a list of all the ingredients to go get. And so he made the salad and I tasted it, tasted it, and I was like, something, I said, did you get all the ingredients? Because this doesn't look right. So first of all, they were not organic vegetables. Made a huge difference, you guys. Secondly, he did use white onion instead of red onion. And that makes a huge difference also. So I'll, we'll talk about that as we prepare it. But I just want to let you know that it was so amazing the difference between the organic vegetables versus the ones that uh, we bought that were organic because there's pesticides and stuff on the vegetables and tomatoes and cucumbers and all those that we get have pesticides on. I, I, I blogged about a high pesticide content in some of these vegetables and you could I, could t I could taste the difference, especially since I've been on organic foods for about five months. I can totally tell when something is not organic. It's crazy. And if you're, if they're not, if you absolutely cannot buy organic, then you need to make sure you soak and wash your vegetables, like extra wash them, and and buy uh, specific types of uh, vegetable cleaner that will get rid of at least the exterior uh, pesticides, even though the internal is still. Am I rambling? Yes. <laughs> I'm getting the look. I'm getting the look. Like, when well, can I start? When can I be on the camera? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab the camera. I'm gonna let Mark go. I just want to tell you guys that uh, you need to use organic ingredients for it to taste better because I've already experienced that with you. Okay, are you ready? Yes. So, cucumber salad. We're gonna watch Mark and see how he makes it. Who else is on? Hi, Aneta. It's hard for me to be off camera. Mary's on too. I said hi to Mary. Hi, Mary. It's hard for me to be off yeah, camera. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So, so I'm going to make this salad. And, and uh, just so you know, here's what it's called. It's, it's, <laughs> it's called my salad. Because every time Terry's like, make me my salad. <laughs> I didn't even know what it's called. All I know is it's called my salad. She's like, make me my salad. So here's what I'm gonna do. And can you see like, it? Can you see everything okay? Yeah, pretty much. Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of oh. at an angle. But you're is that fine. good? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, but you're kind of a little bit sideways. You can go more up and down, up and down. But I think you're good. Okay. And you can tilt it down just at scotch. Okay. So you guys can see my hand. I think that'll work out. That'll work out just fine. Yeah, I'm gonna this way. So um, Terry's like, well, it makes it so much better when, when he makes it. My secret ingredient is love. <laughs> I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna All right, take so, this off. so if you have a wife that's that's very sensitive about her food being clean before she eats it, it doesn't have to just be a wife, Mark. What you do is you put everything into the. Uh, I use pH alkaline 9.5 water. So we have. Two cucumbers. I'm just going to cut them in half just so I don't make room in the water. I wish I could see. Yeah. This kind of sucks. We have cherry tomatoes. Organic. Organic cherry tomatoes. Um, usually use two of these containers, but if, you, if any of these ingredients, the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the onions, the avocados, any other stuff that goes in it, if you like more of that, you can just put more in it. If there's any of the stuff that you don't like, that you don't want in there, just leave it out. You don't have to put it in. Now who's rambling? Just saying. I'm not rambling. I'm, I'm, I'm educated. <laughs> so I, I don't put like all that stuff in there and soak it. And 
What is this called? That is called cilantro. Cilantro. I use the whole thing of cilantro. And I'll put that in water too. You know, Mark, my, my only one little criticism, I mean, there's not a lot of criticism because when he makes it, it's the bomb. He could probably uh, chop up the cilantro a little bit finer than he normally does. Just saying. Not complaining because it's great. We're going to have super duper fine cilantro today. So I'm a hands guy though, but I use my hands all the time for the food. So I always clean my hands first. So okay. I, I'm they know always a hands guy. So I'm going to use... I'm gonna use my hands a lot more than maybe you guys do. First thing I do is I just chop up these cucumbers, so we'll just fire these up pretty quick. And you guys can fire up any questions if you have them. You have questions? Anybody have questions? I'm trying to read, I'm trying to read questions as he's doing this. I'm trying. So as far as these cucumbers, Terry likes them kind of chunky. So I'll just take this whole cucumber here. I just cut it in half, and then I'll cut it in half again. And then big chunks like this. I like chunky. Oh, and the other thing, when you buy tomatoes, make sure you get the cherry tomatoes. They're a little sweeter. And we've, uh, we've used Roma, we've used the regular tomatoes, and we find that I, I prefer the cherry. Organic, of course. Mark, mm. you gotta talk while you're doing that. I could do my uh, Julia Roberts imitation. Is it I could do my Chef Tell imitation. So, tell them what you're doing. You're throwing it all into a big Tupperware. Yeah, so I'll show Are you measuring you ingredients, Markdale? Okay. Are you doing any measuring at all? So I, I put everything into my big Tupperware first. And from there, this is the bowl that everything ends up in anyway. So I just put it all in there as I go. And then I'll mix it up as, as I go as well. So right now, I put in the, t the onion next. So we use a red onion. And you guys, that big, that big Tupperware lasts. When did you make it? Saturday? It's, it was gone today. <laughs> I ate all. Did you have any? I had a little bit, yeah. I did. Gus. So on these onions, you guys, um, I, uh, I'll show you here. Terry kind of likes them a little bit chunky as well. But I always want to make sure that they break up. No, I like them, I like them like that, thinner. I like them a little thinner. So what I do after I chop them up here, I take them in my hands and I grind them so they fall apart. I don't, I want them to separate the onions, how they kind of stick together a lot of times. So I kind of, I, I like to grind them in my hands to make sure they fall apart. Hi, Chrissy. And, and Gus, Gus is a very good helper. See how Gus... Where is uh, he? Gus is the vacuum cleaner. Gus is a very good helper. Yes. Gus. Gus. You want to talk to your mom? Talk to your mom. You see him? You guys see him? I don't know if you see him. He, he thinks that he's in a good spot to pick something up if I drop it. I have no idea if you guys saw him. I, I don't know. Okay, so now I've got my uh, onions Num. and cucumber. And now I do my tomatoes. So all I do with these cherry tomatoes... I just chop them in half, okay. So I already cut these all in half just to save some time. So I'll just put those in there right now. But now I just take these, cut them in half, throw them in. Yeah, am I doing this camera okay? Yep, camera's good. All right, almost done with the tomatoes. And so now I've got all of the tomatoes. Here. Whoa. We got all of the Sorry. tomatoes in there. Sorry, we got technical difficulties going on here. Did you come on? Uh, yeah, it's on okay. Blue? No, oh, it's okay. There you go. Uh, Sorry, we're, we're used to doing this in my studio. So this is, uh, you know, you're getting, you're getting live raw footage here, man. Tripods are falling, Gus is freaking out. All right, on this, uh, it's called cilantro. Um, 
we'll make it dice it really fine today. So if we want to dice it real fine, I'm going to bunch it up together really, um, I'm going to kind of roll it up really tight in my hand here so it stays really all together and start chopping it really, really fine like this. Okay, now again, I'll just turn it a quarter turn and so I'm pushing it together really hard with my hand so I can keep it all together so it stays tight. Oh, you guys, it smells so good right now in here. Yeah, it makes a huge amount of smell. The cilantro is super strong. And now from here, what I'll do is I'll line these up like this and make it really super duper fine for mama. Numb. But it's super, it's, it smells. So now it, it, it's really fine, really fine uh, cilantro now. But normally I don't do this much at the top of the cilantro. Hi, Sarah Schmidt. Yes, I love cilantro too. I never really knew how much I love cilantro until I started making this salad. Alright you guys, I'm at a spot right now. I'm at a spot right now where I like to mix it together and salt and pepper it. So I've got I've got my cucumber, I've got my tomatoes, I've got my onion, and I've got my cilantro uh, is all in there. So what I like to do is I'll hit it now with salt and pepper. And this you'll eventually do to your own seasoning, your own preference. I think the, I'm not sure what the recipe calls for, but I've never really measured much salt and pepper in my life. So right now I just like to mix it together to get all that salt and pepper in there. I like all of the veggies to mix together. And I want, I want everything starting to blend together a little bit. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'll salt and pepper it one more time. And then I'll add the, the avocado. And the avocado would be the last. And that's sea salt, right, Mark? Yes. And this is just You want to make this, sure this it's sea salt. Sea salt. Sea salt is way better for you. All right, so from, from here, we'll take two, um, two ripe avocados. And I'll cut those in half, take the seed out. And then I, um, I have my spoon. So I'll take those right out of the skin, separate them from the skin. Hi, Bingo. What's up, LJ? Try to put this back on the tripod. Sure. Is it squared up or not? And here's the bugger with these with these avocados. I'm gonna push it down more to the thing. With the avocados, what I do is when you start chopping them, they stay very they're very sticky and very slimy. And Terry doesn't usually like as many avocados in it. So what I do is I'll just, I'll actually, this time, I take them apart. I take, I take all the slices of avocado apart like that. And then I'll just move it around on the salad so they don't stick together. So there's not a whole bunch of avocados all stuck together. We got to get this back on the tripod because it's too, way too shaky. Yeah, is it on? No, I can't get it on without getting out of the screen, so I'll have you do it later. It's way too shaky. That's why we need a marker. Now, I have a, I have a tip. I have a tip for you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it. I have it on a tripod now. <laughs> we'll just put it on you. I'm just chopping the avocado. I have a tip. Oh, crap. Sorry, guys.
Sorry guys. Okay, so I have a, I have a tip for you. If the avocados will last in that salad for, I mean, it'll be it'll be a good couple days, but then they start getting a little brown. I don't mind avocados when they turn brown; they still taste great. But if you really want your avocados to stay nice and green, then don't make that big of a salad because that, I mean, unless you can eat that in a couple days. So um, you might want to make half of that. I don't mind like my avocados a little bit mushy, but. If you don't like them mushy, then you, you'll just want to make a smaller portion of that. All right, so we're almost set. We're almost ready to go here. Um, so right now we've got all the ingredients in there. It's already mixed. It's salt and peppered. And I put the avocados on top. It separated them, and I salt and peppered it again. Okay. So what I do is I'll take a lemon and olive oil now. So what I do with the lemon is I like to smash it kind of pretty hard on, on the cutting board just to make sure that the insides get real mushy and juicy and it makes it much easier for the lemon to squeeze and make lemon juice. So what I'll do here is I cut this into quarters and then I'll pull all the, the seeds. I'll just run my thumb along the seeds to get the seeds out. But every once in a while there's seeds in there. I think I got most of the seeds out. And I'll take each, each lemon and put it on each corner. Pull this out so you can see it again. And I just squeeze that as hard as I can just to get the lemon juice is dripping in there. And then I'll go over to the other corner up here. And then the last one. So now I got all those lemons in there. They are good to go to the garbage. <laughs> Oh, doesn't that look so good? Look at that. Yum. And then the last thing is um, olive oil. And that's the very last thing. I think if you look at the recipe, it calls for maybe a quarter cup. So again, I kind of eyeball a quarter cup. So now she's good to go. She's ready to go. So I, I mix it all together one more time. And this is kind of the messy mix. I think the hands has something to do with the taste, Mark. What do you mean? The hand mixing. I think that helps the flavor. I think it does too, because that's where the love comes from. So I'm just kind of picking it up and flipping it over and picking it up and flipping it over. And I'm just making sure everything gets all put together. So, I mean, that's it. There's the winner right Num! there. That is, that is, uh, that's it. That has the cucumbers, the onions, the tomatoes. Hmm? And... Dirty hands. Doesn't that look delish? So you guys, I think, I mean, um, let me put some of this stuff away. But that's, uh, that's spot on exactly how I make this every time when she says, "Hun, can you make me my salad? This is the my salad. I don't even know what it's called. Um, and honestly, that's about as long as it ever takes. I did chop a few um, tomatoes. I chopped some tomatoes early. But, um, I mean, how it tastes like it tastes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, you guys have any questions about that? You're going to have to sit way back, Mark, on this because this cuts off. It cuts off quite a bit of the, of the thing. Do you guys have any questions about that at all? Um, can you get over the picking up and flipping over again? Can you go over the picking up and flipping over? <laughs> Stacy Holly, goofball. Hi, Carrie. Does the salad taste better when it sets for a while? Ooh, good question. Um, no. I, I think like, like today I had uh, the rest of the salad he made from Saturday and it wasn't didn't taste as good. I, I think, think it's, it tastes best in the beginning. Yeah, I do too. I agree. I think it tastes best like like fresh. Yeah. So a solution maybe Mark would be if people wanted to take it fresh, just maybe cut all their vegetables and put them in baggies and then add the. Well, well look, let's let's think about if you wanted to make it fresh, you could just use one half of one cucumber. You could use like. Six tomatoes, you can use a quarter of an onion, you could use a little bit of cilantro, and you could use 
a half of an avocado, and then salt and pepper it, and then lemon, just like a, a quarter of the lemon. You could you could make this a one portion for the one day, or a not quite a, a one portion for two days. But right now, I just like to taste it because I want to make sure how it tastes for me. That's awesome. It's really, really good. Yeah, it's really good. All right. Um, so awesome. I like those chimeri, chimeri, cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Too. You guys have any questions before we talk about uh, the matcha green tea? You guys have any questions? Yes, Jill. Your mouth should be watering. It's really good. It, it, it's, it's like, you guys, seriously, it is like really good. I like the lemon and the salt and pepper. I don't taste too much of the olive oil, but it's in there. It's good though. All right, Mark, why don't you come over here and um, and you're going to have to probably hold this over here maybe because it's, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to switch, we're going to switch this up. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. All right, guys, sorry about all the, uh, I think we should put it on the tripod because I was, it was, sorry about all the, um, the wiggling of the, of the, of the everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know. We need to put it on a tripod, so. All right. Let's, um, can you? What do you okay. mean? I don't know. Okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> All right, so you guys have been asking me a lot about Mashka green tea. So I want to tell you about matcha green tea, why I drink matcha green tea, how to prepare it, because it is so good for you. It's so full of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And the reason I drink matcha green tea versus steep tea is one, steep tea, you don't get as many of the polyphenols and the high antioxidants as you would uh, matcha green tea. And uh, what did you just say? It's just the antioxidants. You have in to the... explain all that. I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> Mark is making comments in the background here. If I don't know, have, they might not know. You guys have questions, ask me as we go along. But green tea is full of antioxidants. But the thing is, with steeped green tea, you know, the one that you steep, you can't, they're, they're not as powerful of leaves. So mashka green tea is prepared in a very organic type of garden. And what they do is actually press the leaves into a powder, which gives it, one One is organic, because uh, where I get mine, I, I buy it over, it's from Japan, and it's cold pressed very, in a very um, uh, sterile environment. So that's the other thing with, with the tea, is, is I've tried teas that are not organic, the green teas that aren't organic, and they, you do taste it, there is a difference in the taste. So um, I buy this Mashka green tea. This one is uh, from organic, it's, an, it's a ceremonial grade, which what, what means is it's prepared in a sterile environment in Japan. And they, um, they make it into a powder. So if you can see in here, there's a powder, a green tea powder, okay? This is why I drink this versus the steep bags, plus the bags, it's a different type of tea. And I'd have to prepare uh, steep tea all day long, prepare water, steep it, steep it, and the taste is just not as strong as this. So I just really like it. So that's my reasoning. Plus, it's very, very, it's, it's way more, it's like 60 times more potent than a steep bag of tea. So what I do is I um, heat water up. And you want to make sure, again, it's filtered water. So I have this little, it's like a little uh, pot that heats up water. It's, it's great for... Anytime you want to heat water up, it's just easy. And I fill it up, of course, with my pH water. But then I just put it here and I, I wait for that to get hot. The other thing with ceremonial matcha Japanese green tea is that it's better if it's not boiling. 
uh, the boiling of the water affects the antioxidants in the tea. So you want to, it, it can be hot, but you don't want to get the water to where it's boiling. So I usually just wait, hold on. I gotta have a snack. So good. That's so good. So good. Mm. So good. Oh, I just love it. And he makes it so good. All right. So, while this is heating, um, I buy this. I buy this online on Amazon.com. There, there's a, there's a, a few different, a few different brands out there. There's one by Kiss Me Organics that tastes really good, and this one again is um, called Organic Ceremonial. It's good. This is a little cheaper, that's why I buy it. I like the Kiss Me Organics the best, but it's half the size of this, and it's 40 bucks. So this, this jar here is about 30 bucks, and it lasts me. I do, um, I do one to one and a half teaspoons a day. And I put it in this big jug, which I will, glass jar, which I will show you how I'm doing it. And this lasts me a teaspoon and a half, it lasts me about a month. But uh, I drink it every day. I drink one of these every single day. So here's how I do it. You guys have any questions? Yeah, does he do dishes too, right. Okay, so. I don't do dishes. What I do first, can you tilt up just a little bit? Yep. Okay, so what I do first, once the, once the water is heated, I, I buy, or I pour a little bit, and you'll understand why, you'll understand why, but I bought this little, this little Purex cup that has a Pyrex. pour, Pyrex that has a pouring spout, because you have to mix the tea first. You can't just put it, all of it in here, and then mix it. So you have to mix it with a, a milk frother. So what I do is I put a little bit of water once it's heated in here, okay, then I measure, my, uh, my, I do two and a half scoops, so this would be a teaspoon and a half or so. I mix it in there, and you, you can see, see how it's, it's a chunks of powder? It's like chunks. See how it's chunky? So I, you have to buy a milk frother, okay? So this milk frother is super cheap. It's like seven or eight bucks. I also bought this on Amazon. And the reason why you uh, use this is because it mixes it Okay, see how it's mixing it? It's the only thing I found that really mixes the tea with the water. And in addition, it gives it a little froth. You see the froth at the top? Which is it's just a nice flavor. Okay. So you just mix it until, you know, until you know that all the, the chunks of the green tea are mixed well. Okay. So then, see how there's a froth? On it. So then what I do is I pour it, I pour it into my big container. And this is why I bought a Pyrex with a thing here, because if, if you try to pour it in here, it goes all over. So anyway, so then anyway, there's that. So then what I do is I fill up the rest of it. I'm not going to fill up the whole thing because I didn't put enough in there, but I fill this whole thing up with water. And then I add a couple drops of lemon stevia, okay? I put that in here like that. And again, normally this is full, you guys. It's all the way up here. And then I have my Mashka green tea, and this is what you guys see me drinking all day long. And what I do, I know, I'm hot. It, it, it's just convenient for me. I bought these little, these little jars, these glass jars, because I don't want to carry this thing, big thing around. It doesn't have a straw. It's hard to drink out of. So I, I, this is about two and a half of these. So I, I take my funnel, right? And I pour them in here. I pour it in here, right? And then this is what I drink. So it's about two and a half of these a day. And it works well because it's right, you know, it's right in the straw and then you can mix it up because it does settle. So that's what I do, and I drink this all day long, and it tastes really good. And the thing with matcha, this tea, what I like about this tea is that it tastes good cold also. And um, actually it gets cold, you know, like an hour after you prepare it. So I drink it all day long, and it's really good cold. If you like it really cold, you can add ice. I just like it room temperature. 
Um, if you wanted to reheat it, I suppose you could reheat it. I never do. I never reheat it, but I suppose you could. So that is Mashka Green Tea, Japanese Mashka Green Tea. Again, if you go on Amazon and, and in the search put orga organic Mashka Green Tea, make sure it's a powder form and make sure it's organic, and, and I would buy the ceremonial grade. There's two grades, there's a, a plain uh, mashka and then there's a ceremonial grade. Ceremonial grade is more expensive, but you're getting the highest, uh, the, the highest antioxidants of the, of the leaf when you buy the ceremonial grade, and it tastes better. I've tried both, okay? So you guys have any questions about my mashka green tea? Any questions at all? Any questions? Can you use real lemon juice? Carmen, great question. Yes, but you will probably want to sweeten it. Maybe you want to sweeten it with like some some sort of a lemon or a, a regular stevia. Then I tried it without the lemon stevia, and eh, I wasn't too much of a fan. I like it way better with the lemon stevia flavor. That's all I try. I try it without and with, and I really like it with the lemon, lemon stevia. So you could probably add just straight lemon, or you could add just uh, straight sweetener if you don't like the lemon, I would think. Any other questions? Hi, Julia. Hi, Darcy. Yeah, so that's my Moshka green tea. These, these two things I eat every single day. I drink and eat every single day. And uh, the, thing with, the other thing with Moshka green tea is, is it does have some caffeine in it. So, uh, you know, if you're going to start drinking it, you might want to test the waters a little bit to see if you can have this like later in the day because it might keep you up. It does give you a little bit of a, a, a natural uh, boost of energy. So, hi, Julia. All right, any questions on that? Any questions on that? Gus, say hi. Say hi. Say hi, to the, say hi to the girls. You don't want to? I bet if I gave you a treat. I bet you. I bet if I gave you a treat, you could show them tricks, right? Okay, I'll give you a treat. Watch this. Ready? I'm going to give them a treat. Okay, sit. That's good. Sit. Sit. Shake. Show the girls how you shake. 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 Come on, shake. 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 Roll over. Roll over. Tilt up a little bit. Tilt up a little bit. Roll over. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Tilt up. Tilt up more. Yeah, tilt. Just up. Up. Cool. Yeah. All right. So there you go. You got you got the 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 the, the awesome cucumber salad. You got the mosque your green tea, and you got to see Gus play. Uh, get a treat and do his tricks for you. <laughs> Uh, Chrissy, does a whisk work? Uh, it probably would. Yeah, it probably would. I just bought this because it was easy. But you could try a whisk. I think it would be just fine. Yes. Good question. And this is really convenient because, again, you don't want to really microwave your water. I'm just saying, if you want to keep it as holistic as possible, use a pot. Works way better. Yeah. All right, any other questions? If there's no other questions, you guys, we are going to end. It's, uh... It's 20 after 9 already. Holy crap, this went fast. So uh, I don't think we're going to have time to do a smoothie. Maybe we'll do that next week. What do you think? We can do a green smoothie. Show you that next week. Yes? Questions at all? Yes? No? You guys are so quiet tonight. Hearts. Hearts. Give me some hearts. Give me something. There's nothing else you guys want to see? That salad is so flippin' good. O-M-G. Oh. All right, well, if there's nothing else you guys want to ask questions about, Mark, do you have anything you want to say? Nope, I'm good. We'll do a smoothie. We'll do, our, we'll do a, our famous green smoothie next week. We don't have time. I'll show you mine. Uh, different than we'll, yours. We'll, we'll, okay, here's what we're going to do next week. There's two types of green smoothies. There's the Mark Dale version and my version. <laughs> my version, although it doesn't taste 
great. It's super healthy for you. My version is better. And his version, yeah, his version does taste pretty good. I can make mine taste better, but I'm more, for me, it's more important right now that I pack the smoothie with a, a crap load of nutrition. So maybe my way, doing if you guys did it my way like uh, twice a week and then did it his way every day, you guys really should be doing smoothies every day. I mean, honestly, they're so good for you. And we'll talk about uh, so that you guys can can understand what we're putting in our smoothies besides just vegetables. But we put supplements in there too. So, all right, I think we're gonna go. Has he his his has ice cream? Yeah, right. Hi, Dee Dee. I'm um, just looking. For, I'm looking through questions. I'm looking through questions. You guys have questions? Um, no, he does not do dishes. <laughs> All right, well, if that's it, then we're gonna go. We'll let you guys uh, off 10 minutes early. Next week, we'll do, a, we'll do our green smoothie. I promise we'll have a better setup here. This is the first time we tried it with lights and stuff, so sorry about that. It'll be, it'll be better next week, okay? All right, that's it. Say goodbye to Gus. Say goodbye to Gus. Everybody give, give Gus some hearts. Give Gus some hearts. Gus some hearts? You wanna say hi? Say hi to Gus. Say hi to the girls. Gus. Say hi to the girls, Gus. look. <gasps> yes. Yo, there you go. Give Gus some hearties. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I know one thing I was going to say. Last thing I'll say. The Be Hot for the Holidays, guys, is starting this week. So make sure that if you want to participate, you let me know. And so that I can get you into my schedule for your coaching. Get your I girlfriends in here. Uh, uh, yeah, and also just, you know, some of you, thank you for the referrals and, and getting your friends in here. It's been awesome, so I appreciate that. Continue to do that. They can start anytime. They can start next week, too, so just keep the referrals. I appreciate referrals so much, you guys. I can't even tell you. But for you guys who want to be, participate, you got to let me know so I can get you in for nutrition coaching. I decided to do it this way this, this year for you guys because I've, I noticed that some of you were kind of like, um, only needing 15 minutes. So what we're going to do is 15 minutes, either twice a month, or you can do one half hour a month. It's just going to be way more, uh, better for you guys. And so you guys can get in and out of there and we can just keep it, keep it short and I can get you guys all in at better times because my schedule is pretty full right now. So yeah, let me know so we can get your times in. And then also let Don know so you can get your starting bod pod. And, and then uh, the photo shoot is already scheduled for December, the first Sunday in December. I think it's December 2nd or 3rd. I don't have my calendar in front of me. So then you have your photo shoot. So yay. So again, a couple things. Just let me know. Let Don know for your bot pod. And keep referring so we can get some of your friends and girlfriends in there for this hot for the holidays. Uh, we have quite a few new people, so I'm excited to introduce you to them. And Saturday, this coming Saturday, will be our, our kickoff. So come the to the third. workout. And then we'll introduce the new people to everybody that are there, okay? September 3rd. September 3rd is the kickoff, okay? So I think that's all I have to say. Um, that's it for now. So have a great night. So good. Thank you, Mark Dale, for making that salad. That's awesome. All right, let me see if you have any questions. Bye-bye, busy. Just a... Yeah, awesome. All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.